Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. Placebo eratosthenes is a procedure for identifying primes. Why is it important to identify primes? Well, in the age of computers and uh, transmitting digital information, we need secure ways to do this, and prime numbers provide us with a way of encoding that information. So um, we'll start out by talking about the procedure we're going to use. So to construct the sieve, the first thing we have to do is actually list out all the numbers we're interested in. For example, if we want to find all the primes from 2 to 50, then we would list out the numbers from 2 to 50. Now we know that 2 is prime, so we would circle that number. But any multiple of 2 is not prime, so we're going to cross those off. So we're going to skip count by twos, cross them all off, and then we're going to look at the next number that's not circled or crossed off, which would be 3. We're going to continue this process for all primes less than or equal to the square root of the last number on the list. So we're going to continue this process for all primes less than or equal to the square root of the last number on the list. So for example, if we're going up to 50, the square root of 50 is about seven, a little more than seven. So we would only have to consider the primes two, three, five, and seven. Anything after that that is still not crossed off is going to be a prime. We circle all the remaining numbers not crossed off and we have our solution. So let's use the sieve on a very short list first to see how it works. So we're going to look at the numbers two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, we know 2, 3, and 5 are primes, but let's see how the sieve would apply here. So first we start by the key is to check the numbers up to the square root of the largest number, so the square root of 6, which is about 2.45. So on this list, the 2 is actually the only number less than 2.45. So we skip count by 2, crossing off the composite numbers that are multiples of 2, and then there's nothing else to do. We know that the remaining numbers are going to be prime. Let's try a slightly longer list. So we're going to use the sieve on the list from 2 to 10. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to find the square root of 10, which is 3.16 approximately. So 2 and 3 are the only numbers less than 3.16. So we cross off the multiples of 2, we cross off the multiples of 3, and all remaining numbers are prime. Let's do one more. So let's look at the list from 2 to 15. So again, we look only up to the square root of the largest number, or the square root of 15, so 3.87. So here's our list, and we circle the 2 and cross off multiples of 2, and we circle the 3 and cross off multiples of 3, and that's all we have to do. Everything else that's left is going to be prime. So that's the way that the sieve of Eratosthenes works, and um, if you try it out for yourself, you'll see that um, if you look at the list from 0 to 100, then you're going to find 25 primes. So if you want to take the time, you could pause the video now, write out the numbers from 2 to 100, and try it and see if you get the right answer. And here is a picture of the solution. Most important thing to remember is square root of n.